99% of what men do is for status. We want to be in good shape for status. We want the fast car for status. We want the nice house for status. We want the diamond watch. We want the hot girl. This is all for our status. Look at me. I'm the big dog. Mm. This is how we compete with each other. If you're going to be a dude who pretends that's not true or be a dude who doesn't want to compete, your life's going to fucking suck. My team, it's not just about how we make money. It's also an entire mindset. I don't want to be the only scared one in the group. If me and my team, if me and my six closest friends are walking down the street and a couple guys came up to us with machetes, mm. I know they wouldn't be afraid. So now I'm not afraid. Now no one's afraid. Mm. Now you're fucked. Mm. Now, the guys, like, like, now the guys with a machete oh, should fuck. be afraid. That's right. It's like an <laughs> army. It's like yeah. a gang, right? You have to have that mentality. So it's not just even about money. It's about your entire mm. life you create. If you're a person, if you're a man and you're out here and you go, you know what? Who do I want to be? I want to be strong and rich and brave and respected. Then I need friends who are strong and rich and brave and respected. That's what you need to do. If you're going to say, oh, I want to be these things, but I hang around with this guy because we play FIFA together, then you can stay a fucking loser. And that is your decision. Stay a loser. I have no sympathy for losers. I want to make this another thing clear that ends up on TikTok and everyone cries their eyes out. I don't give a solitary fuck if you want to stay at the bottom of the societal totem pole. If I'm going to ignore how I feel day after day so I can perform, regardless of whether I'm sad, happy, pissed off, tired, if I'm going to get up and work anyway when I'm tired, mm. how do you expect me to feel sorry for you because you didn't work when you were tired? Mm. If I don't care about my own emotions, I certainly don't give a solitary shit about yours. If you want to stay a loser, stay one. Good. It's fine. It's, uh, stay a loser. I have no sympathy for you. I don't care. I believe there's only three reasons people are not rich. One of three reasons. They're either stupid, arrogant, or lazy. Stupid is actually the smallest category. Mm. People think, oh, you know, there's a lot of stupid people. There are, but I know a lot of stupid people with a lot of money, right? There's so much money in the mm. world. To be too stupid to generate money, I think is less than 5% of the population who are really? genuinely too mm. dumb to ever make a good wage. Then you have arrogant and lazy, and these are the two most common. Lazy because people just, oh, you know, but I need time to myself. Oh, you know, but it's the evening. Or, you know, it's hyper competitive. There are people who do not need times to themselves. There are people, there's an Indian in Islamabad, or there's a guy in Islamabad who will do your job online for $3 an hour and he doesn't sleep. Mm. You're, you're going to lose, right? So if you're going to be lazy in any regard, you have to understand there are people like me who are billionaires who work 18 hours a day. When I finish this, I get into my car and I open my laptop and I work on my way to my next appointment. And then I'm going to work all night until the day I go. When I go to sleep, I close my laptop and I'm asleep a minute later. I mm. work. That's all I do. Speed is extremely important in business. Everything that needs to be done must be done fast. That doesn't mean it has to be done cheap or shit. It means it has to be done quickly. People seem to conflate the two. That if you do something quickly, it must be terrible. That's not the case. When you're a professional fighter, you learn to punch. Your instructor says faster, faster, faster. You learn to punch faster. You don't degrade your punch. You don't start punching like an idiot. You keep the same quality of punch, but you do it quicker. Now, nobody in the world, the modern world especially, and I'm gonna say this, a caveat that I've learned across my career as well, especially if you're dealing with creative people in any kind of regard, they don't understand speed. Numbers people kind of understand speed. Creative people don't understand speed. And this is their, they have a strength and a weakness there. With creative people have something I don't have. They're very creative and they can see things I can't see, but it takes time. I'm the complete opposite. I want everything done straight away now. But speed is super important for a business and I'm gonna tell you why. So whatever you're thinking of doing, whatever the business you're thinking of running, you need to do things quickly. If an airplane, everyone knows how planes work, is flying through the sky, arrow, beautiful demonstration for you there, a beautiful fucking diagram. Even if its engines fail, it will continue to fly. If the engines fail, it will not fall out of the sky and instantly crash to the ground. It will continue to fly. Do you know why? Because it has forward momentum. It's going forward. And that means the wings are creating lift, air is going underneath the plane. As long as the plane goes forward, it will not fall and fail. And a business is exactly the same. The key with business is to make sure you're always moving forward, always producing content, and always doing everything you can as quickly as possible while maintaining the quality. Do not conflate quality with speed. You can do the same. If you have an idea right now and you have someone you're working with, let's say you need a new website. You tell the company, it's gonna take two weeks. No, it's not going to take two weeks. It's going to take three days. We're going to find someone else. We can't do it in three days. I'll find someone who can. You can build a good website in three days. People have unrealistic, stupid timeframes. Everyone thinks things take forever. Things don't take forever. Things can be done quickly. I know because I've done it. I've, I've pushed people or done it myself and seen what's going to be done. You know what I could do in two weeks? Me as a man who knows nothing about web design. In two weeks, I could learn web design and build a website. 
and I know nothing. So how the fuck can you, the guy who knows websites, take two weeks to build a fucking website? It's garbage. Everyone is slow. And being slow is deadly to a company for two reasons. One, the faster you get things online, the faster you start making money. Now, if you make money today because you were in a rush, let's say you quickly push and you get it online today and you make money. That's one universe. And another universe where it takes a week and you get it online. That week of making money is gone. That money is lost. The longer it takes to get something online, the less money you're gonna make as a whole. If, if I start a company today to the end of my life and start a company next month to the end of my life, the one I start today has been running longer. It's gonna generate more money. The quicker things are done, the quicker money is made. It's as simple as that. That's starting a company. Even if a company's already online, speed is super important once again. I'll give you an example. Let's say, uh, I don't know, producing an advert. The faster you produce an advert, the faster it's out, the faster you get results. If you do it quick enough, you might be able to produce two adverts in the time that other people take to produce one. Now you have double the advertising that other people have. Speed, you have to attack and you have to move quickly. When I talk to people, people say to me all the time, I have a business idea. I'll say, okay, cool. A week later, I'll say, how's your business? They go, what business? You have an idea and it's been a week. Where's your fucking company? Where's your business? It's been a week, you ain't done shit. People are lazy, people are slow, people are complacent, including you. Everything must happen instantly, quickly, fast, speed, attack. Hitler conquered Europe with blitzkrieg. You need to go quickly. I cannot emphasize this enough. Lesson one, speed is important. Nothing can be slow.